I just spoke to a few moments ago, uh, the president of Lithuania, Kitanas Nauseda, uh, about the prospects for peace going forward, uh, where he sees uh, the path of diplomacy, uh, and more importantly, if he sees the war going on yet further into a long second year. Let's listen in to what the Lithuanian president had to say to me. I am optimist, and I think there will be no need to celebrate the second year of the war, but of course it has certain preconditions and uh, uh, our decision makings are a very important element of the success of Ukrainian military uh, troops in the battlefield. I think uh, what happened last time, I see the acceleration of our decision making regarding the delivery of uh, military equipment to Ukraine. And we crossed many red lines uh, in recent, in the uh, last months. Is it enough? I wouldn't say it's enough and we have to hear what uh, our friends Ukrainians say. They need more. They need uh, long range uh, missiles, they need uh, fighter jets. And uh, the sooner we will decide to provide them with uh, these kind of uh, equipment, the shorter will be this war. Uh, this is my uh, opinion, and I repeated it many times, and as we see now in the reality, this was only one possible approach, to be as decisive as possible in order to support Ukraine and to make uh, this war less bloody, less uh, deaths, um, uh, uh, bringing so many casualties, bringing so huge uh, dis destructions of the city's civil infrastructure. We've spoken before about the possibilities or the limitations of diplomacy as well. It's very interesting. When I ask you how you think the war will end, you talk about a military victory for Ukraine. Is there any other possibility? I don't think this uh, our possibility because I expect that scheme is very simple. The success in the battlefield leads to the peace negotiations, but not opposite is the case. And uh, to start discussions too early means that Russia will not accept the conditions because the conditions must be very clear. The uh, full withdrawal of Russian troops troops from the uh, Ukrainian soil, and also these 10 points planned presented by President uh, Vladimir Zelensky, which is at the moment totally unacceptable for Russian side. So both sides, both uh, uh, camps are just too far away from each other in order to find some subject for the discussion. This is the reason why I don't believe uh, in peaceful uh, discussions and negotiations now, but it doesn't mean that tomorrow it might be possible.